Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. After all the complaints about me drinking coffee out of a paper cup, I decided to bring an 1880s reproduction metal cup to drink coffee out of today so you all know that I can do it. So... Ah! Santee, how about a video on gun maintenance in the Old West? 357 Bullfrog. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rack on gal. We can do that. Firearms in the Wild West were tools. Not everyone had them, and some had more than one. Their mechanisms contained many moving parts and therefore had to be taken care of. If your gun didn't work, you might not eat, or you might get eaten. <laughs> Former soldiers from the War of Northern Aggression were fully aware of the necessity of taking care of their weapon. After all, the government owned the firearms, so they made sure their property was maintained. Black powder, the propellant used in firearms up until the 20th century, is highly corrosive. If you don't clean your guns after shooting them, you run the risk of getting a rusty and pitted firearm. <coughs> not only that, but too much fouling from black powder will mess up the mechanisms and accuracy. Cleaning out that residue didn't require special solvents, just hot water and a little soap. That's a pretty good coat. What do you think? I like that coat? I like it. Sandy, there's a problem in the saloon. The saloon? What is it? This place to serve drinks, but that's not important right now. What is the problem in the saloon, Backjack? Bill's making a mess in there. Look, the ghost of Bill Brazelton doesn't really like it when you throw him under the bus, so... Just He's in the saloon getting... You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What'd I tell you? Oh. Uh, by the way, Bill, did you leave me any whiskey at all? No. I don't think he cares. I don't think he does either. The new popular game, Red Dead Redemption 2, makes gun maintenance something you must do in order to have your firearm work reliably. Now, the folks at Rockstar Games realize that taking a revolver apart to clean it is a lengthy process, so they just show the player wiping it down with an oiled cloth. I can't fault them for that, since being accurate in this area would bore gamers to death. Is it ready yet? How about now? How about now? How about now? The attention to what can cause degradation to a weapon is a great learning tool for people. Misfire. Not only use, but weather and the holster have a lot to do with it. Back then, a holster typically covered a majority of the gun to protect it from the elements. Flap holsters would protect the gun from most, but getting the gun out quickly with those was not an option. For long guns, there were sleeves that also covered a serious portion of the firearm. Profitable towns in the West had a gunsmith to fix or tune your firearms. If you were a cowboy on a cattle drive, that wasn't really an option. Many folks, including hired guns, carried a cleaning kit with spare parts in their belongings. But that cowboy moving beads all day most likely left that kit back with the chuck wagon where his bedroll was stored. A flathead screwdriver was a necessary component to the kit, as screws in these frontier firearms were of that design and had the tendency to back out after repeated firing. Some gun toters were known to put varnish on the screw threads to eliminate that issue. Whale oil was used to keep the pores of the metal protected and the action lubricated. I didn't know we had oil. But just about any oil would work in a pinch. Westerners who made a living with their gun would not want it to be in anything but tip-top shape. Well, folks, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you down the trail.